Join me in clearing these lists. Join me in setting these teachers up to be more successful this year than they've ever been before. Join me in making sure these teachers are more equipped and better resourced and in better spirits and feeling less financial strain than they've ever felt before. Let's just help these teachers. Let's get these lists cleared. Uh. Water, water, water. <laughs> Man, I love that song. Makes me so, so happy. What's up, Logan? What's up? Welcome back in the studio. We're at the Big Dog Podcast. I'm Josh Wilson, son Logan here with me. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we've got the OG in the studio today. We're not going to say her name because she's laying down sleeping, but nah, we will. Old Charlotte's in the studio. Looking good, baby. She's going to be, what do we say, 12? Yep. She's going to be 12 next month. She's the one that started this whole thing. And so she is the the queen bee, our little black lab baby. She's so cute. Got a lot of white on her face. She got white eyebrows like her daddy. <laughs> anyway, it's fun to have her in here. We did a little show uh, last week that, um, you know, we decided just to keep for ourselves. Uh, You know, I recorded it. It felt good in the moment to say all the things I said. But upon reflection, because I'm a better person than I used to be, I decided to keep it for me. Just me. If I didn't listen to it, I could play it back. Not everything the world needs to hear. Not everything you feel and that you think, you know, the world needs to hear. Sometimes just saying it for yourself to yourself is enough. And you probably look a lot less crazy too out in public and social media if if people thought about that more. Everybody is entitled to their opinions. Doesn't mean Everybody is entitled to have to hear your opinion. So anyway, I kept it to myself and all is well. But the funny thing that did happen during that show was we had the puppy in here with us, Callie, our little doodle. And um, we're, what, 15 minutes in? And all of a sudden, we, we thought we lost power. Everything just went black except for the cameras were rolling. And they're on a battery backup and, and whatever. Come to find out, little Miss Callie was on walkabout in the studio and stepped in the one place. There's one spot. Can't step in here. Baby girl stepped there. The power strip. (laughs) Oh, it was unfortunate. It was really funny. But speaking of growth, had it been a couple years ago, Man, I'd have lost my mind. Would have ruined my day. I'd have been hollering and screaming. I've been so upset at that little dog. But instead, we were like, eh, here we are. It's all good. Hey, I'm excited to talk about what I'm about to talk about today. It's it's one of my favorite times of year. For the last, this might be our fifth year. I got to double check it. But for the last four years, five years, every August, we start a clear the list campaign for teachers and what it is it's it's really great as we know it's it's back to school time people are prepping for it you know kids are going off to college kids are going back to you know regular school and um you know teachers our teachers are phenomenal we have so many clients that are teachers and we just want to help our community and look out for them and so what we've done is for the last four or five years you know we ask people to share this message on social media share our posts Uh, tag their friends who are teachers or they're in education. Maybe they're administrators. Maybe they know someone uh, who is, maybe they are themselves uh, a teacher and we want them to tag everybody in this and drop a link, you know, to their Amazon list for all their school supplies and things of that nature. And then what we do is at the end of each week, we choose a list and we go in and clear that list up to a thousand dollars of materials 
you know, on their list, we purchase for them, have shipped directly to them. It's really awesome. And in turn, we hope that the community jumps in and joins us in helping to clear these lists. So it's, you know, they drop the links on all of our social media. It gets a lot of exposure and we encourage folks to go in and, and click random list. And, you know, even if you're just buying a box of crayons, like every little bit helps, you know, everybody's talking about the economy and how expensive everything is. And, you know, you know, payrolls and salaries compensation isn't matching the increase in expenses. Well, well, guess who else falls into that? You know, our teachers, our teachers who are out there having to fill their classrooms to make sure they have the resources that they need to create a safe, fun, engaging environment for our kids. They don't have the resources to do this and they're not getting it from the States. Uh, they're not getting it from the cities, uh, typically. And so they're digging into their own pockets, which are already strained, just like everybody else. And everybody who knows anybody who's a teacher knows you don't go into teaching to get rich. You don't go into teaching for the money. You go into teaching for the impact. And so if we can help educators to have a greater impact during this season, you know, we want to do that. So we're proud to do that uh, here at Team JW Enterprises. You know, our core values, the the acronym is acronym, the word you make with a couple letters that stand for different things. Thanks. So. Right, you're the smart one in the family. I don't I don't really know. So the acronym for our core values is dogs. Are you going to fact check that for us? Yeah. Let's double check that. I'm going to stand by it. I think it is an acronym. Yeah. I am right. Yep. Damn right. And this is why education is so important, guys. I mean, you can be successful and not be that smart. I'm living proof of that. You know what? Screw that. I am smart. I am smart. You're so smart. I am loved. I'm a good dude. Give myself my, my affirmations. Right? Yep. I'm smart. Just not really book smart. From the streets. Street smart. Got good common sense. Got a good gut. Got good work ethic. I'm not dumb. Pretty smart. Pretty smart, actually. People think I'm dumb. Right? Probably because I say it. That's okay. Let them, let them think I'm dumb. That's okay. Anyway, education's important, guys. And look at that, me throwing out acronym. Man, I'm going to be on a smart high all day. Because you used the word acronym. That's, that's a good word word. for me. That's a big word. It's not a curse word. That's big time for me. Mm. Anyway, DOGS, that is the acronym for our core values here at Team JW Enterprises. Discipline, ownership, generosity, and service. And this is a way for us to live to that core value of generosity by giving back to our community um, in what I th feel like is a big way. You know, this is going to have immediate impact on their need and what they got going on. And I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to do it. Um, I hope that you guys are excited to join us. And I want to, this is gonna be a short show today. I'm just, just talking about, you know, this campaign for Clear the List. And, you know, we're gonna be spreading this on all of our, our socials across our platforms. So it'll be out there with It Happens. It'll be out there with Off Leash Canine Training and Bay Rivers and and Dog Fence of America. All, all you know, the, the agency, we're, we're going to spread it everywhere that we can just to get the more, more eyes on it. And if you guys could help us in spreading that message, it would be huge. And I would challenge you to do more than just share it. While I appreciate the hell out of that, do more than that. No matter what level you can help somebody at, no matter what level you're at, You've got more than somebody. No matter how little you have, you have more than somebody. Remember that when you're thinking about, oh, I'm down. Remember that when you're feeling like you've lost. Remember that when you're like, man, I don't know how I'm going to how I'm gonna pay this light bill. Remember that when there's always someone and a lot of someones who are in a worse spot than you. And I truly believe that God blesses those that give. I believe the universe responds great to that. And, you know, it, it, when you're down to that last dollar, 
and you give that dollar to someone in a greater need than you, it's funny how a lot of times $2 shows up in your pocket. It's funny. I'm not saying that's why you should do it. I'm just saying it's funny how that happens. And be generous to be generous. Be, be, have a generous spirit. Have a generous heart. Help people. Right now, so many people, it's tight. It's tight. It's tight. And I get it. But they're focused on themselves and they're, they're just tightening up and they're gripping their pockets and whatever they have, they're just holding even tighter. When maybe if you've got something to hold on to, maybe what we what we should be doing, if you've got something to, to hold on to, loosen that grip a little bit and help somebody who might be holding on to nothing but air. Maybe. Maybe instead of gripping so tight, we're supposed to loosen that grip a little bit and be more generous. It's not a time to be selfish. And that's hard. It's hard because everybody's battling right now. Everybody's battling right now. I get it. I get it. Our businesses are battling right now. I get it. Is it the best use of our dollars to do this right now? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. But we're going to do it anyway. Because it's who we are. It's what we do. To our core, it's what we do. We're generous. We're going to help. We're going to help. So I need you to help me. And like I said earlier, if, if all you can do is get a box of crayons off of a teacher's list, man, that goes a long way. That goes a long, long way. If all you can do is get a, 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 a bundle of paper, that goes a long way. A box of tissues, a $5 Amazon card goes a long way. And if we do that in numbers, in masses, you know how many crayons that is? If, if everybody did nothing but just bought a thing of crayons, that's a lot of crayons for kids. Crayons. A lot of crayons. Am I saying that right? Crayons. People yeah. say it different ways. People say it. Okay, thanks. Cra how? We were just talking about this the other day. I don't agree. I say crayon. Yeah. Crayon. Cr crayon. 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 Yeah, like a crayon. You could buy so many crayons if we all just threw in a couple bucks. Right. It's about volume. It's the multiplier. Just do a little. Everybody did a little. If everybody does a little, nobody's got to do a lot. Okay. <laughs> Some political arguments here, but we're not going to do that either. Let's just help these teachers. Let's get these lists cleared. Join me in clearing these lists. Join me in setting these teachers up to be more successful this year than they've ever been before. Join me in making sure these teachers are more equipped and better resourced and in better spirits and feeling less financial strain than they've ever felt before. We can't help them all but we can help a bunch. So let's just do our part. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, we'll inspire or encourage someone else to do theirs. So at Off Leash Canine Training, Team JW Enterprises, we're clearing the list. We're clearing the list. Share this message. Get this stuff out there for us. Tag the teachers. Tag the educators. Tag the administrators. Just share the message. And we're going to do as much as we can. At a minimum, we're picking one or two a week. I think we're doing two a week. I'm sorry. Um, but it's not uncommon for us to to to, to do more. And um, we just want to help. We're going to do our part. Join us. Do yours. We'll catch you next time on the Big Dog Podcast. I sure do appreciate you guys. Let's get them list cleared, boy.